What is up there, fellow ad slingers? My name is Nick George, and I'm the founder of My Advertiser Online. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your first Google AdWords campaign. So as you can see, I am Google AdWords search certified. And more specifically, today we're gonna to go into setting up a text ad on the Google search network. So it's gonna end up looking like one of these here. Um, I actually received a request from one of the people I follow on Twitter to make this video. So hopefully this video helps out. And if any of you guys have any questions related to internet advertising, uh, you can just leave me a comment below. I'll be more than happy to help you out with whatever I can. So once we get into Google AdWords, you wanna make sure you're on the campaigns tab. Um, you wanna select the type of campaign, which is gonna be search network only, as this is the easiest campaign to go ahead and set up for beginners. Um, the campaign name, we're gonna go ahead and select whatever your campaign name is. You wanna select all features here, as all features gives you a lot more options and control over when your ad's gonna be served. And you'll see what I mean by that later on. Um, as far as networks, we wanna go ahead and only display our ad on the Google search network in the beginning. Um, as you get more experience slinging ads, you can always include your ads on the search uh, partners. But uh, for right now, let's just go ahead and stick with Google. Um, and the location, you wanna make sure you choose the location of where you want your ad to run. On the location options, uh, we wanna target people in our targeted location and we wanna exclude people in my excluded location. Um, for the bid strategy, you wanna go ahead and choose manual CPC in the beginning. The reason why is this gives you control over um, how much your max bid is gonna be per click, as well as how much your budget per day is going to be. Um, when creating any new ad, okay, you always wanna go ahead and select the delivery method as accelerated. And I'll tell you, the reason why you want to accelerate it is because it's going to deliver your ad as quickly as possible. It's going to try and spend your budget as fast as it can. Okay, I know that sounds scary, but the reason why you want to do this is you're going to be able to collect all this data very quickly. And you're going to be able to use that data to go back in and optimize your ads to make sure that you create an ad that's going to perform extremely well. Um, in the future, I'll create a video on how to go back in and optimize ads. But as for right now, we just want to go ahead, select accelerated and make sure that you collect your data from, from all the ads that you start running. Um, for ad extensions, uh, we're going to go ahead and skip this for now, but just to show you what they look like, it's going to look like these things here or these things down here. Um, and ad extensions, they'll increase your ads click through rate. So you definitely want to make sure you add them on. Um, but I only have 10 minutes to make this video, so we're going to go ahead and fly through this. Just get the ad up and running. Um, so we choose a start date for our ad to go. Uh, we're going to choose the ad schedule. So depending on when your business is open, you're going to choose what days you would like to run your ad and what times you'd like to run it. Now, you want to try and keep that part as broad as possible uh, in the beginning, because like I said, we're going to uh, accelerate the delivery of our ad in order to collect the data so we can figure out when the best times to display our ad are gonna be. Um, as far as ad delivery, we're gonna optimize for clicks, and this is what you're generally gonna use for pretty much every ad you run. Um, dynamic search ads, we're not gonna be running one of those today, so we're gonna skip all that, click save and continue. Uh, so now we gotta name our ad group. Um, as far as naming your ad group and setting it up, it, to give you an idea, um, that, that may make a little bit more sense than what I'm using right now. Um, if you own a shoe store, okay, uh, your ad campaign is going to be um, spring shoe sale, all right? And then your ad groups are going to be men's shoes, women's shoes, children's shoes. And then your actual ads and the keywords you're going to target under each ad group. Um, for men's, it would be uh, buy men's running shoes or a uh, sale on men's running shoes, or uh, get men's dress shoes cheap, whatever uh, your, your target keywords are gonna be there. But I just wanted to give you guys a quick example, one that you can understand. Um, over here, we're gonna go ahead and create our first ad. Uh, so we're, like I said, we're gonna be doing a text ad here. Uh, the final URL is the actual landing page that you want your clicker to go ahead and land on. Uh, you want to make sure that you have a landing page that's high converting, one that's going to convert anywhere from 40% of the people that land on it. And if you're not getting 
uh, those types of results, you definitely want to go back in and optimize your landing page. Um, as far as the headlines, if you can see here, you have two headlines with your text stats. Uh, reason being is Google, uh, they actually, uh, what they do is depending on the um, device that your ad is going to be displayed, it's going to depend on how it's going to look. Um, each one of the headlines, you, you have 30 characters you can type in. You want to make sure you use them all up. Um, and you also want to make sure that each of the headlines makes sense um, by themselves. So as you can see, SEO, SEO roadmap grows website fast, outperform competitors in 2017. Um, so go ahead and create your headlines, make sure they're compelling, make sure they stand out compared to what your competitors are using. Um, as far as a URL path, this does not have to match your final URL. This is just another option in order to grab your, uh, your viewers attention and get customers to click on your ad. So here we're just going to do free road map. Um, as far as the description, I have that typed up over here. Um, and I'm pretty sure, let's see what, uh, let's see what we can do over here. Um, this has 80 characters. So you want to make sure you utilize all those characters as well. Uh, take advantage of, of the small amount of space that you have for that. That way you can really stand out because I'll show you here, as you can see here, see how, I mean, this looks a lot doesn't look anywhere near as nice as this ad up here, if you can tell. Um, so we want to make sure we utilize all the space, make sure you include things that are going to make your company stand out, that make your company unique compared to your competitors. Um, and as a matter of fact, I'm going to leave you guys a link to uh, this right here in the comment section. Uh, this is going to, uh, this is Google's version of explaining how to write successful text ads. So it's, it's got some really good information in it. So whenever you're done with this video, make sure you check that one out as well. Um, okay, so once we got our ad created, we need to go down here and select our keywords. So these are gonna be the words that our ad is going to be displayed for. <clears throat> in the beginning, uh, you wanna make sure that you do some keyword research. It's very important. Um, and if you don't know how to do keyword research, you might wanna, uh, do some research into that, read about it. Um, but what I'm going to do is leave you guys a, a pretty awesome keyword tool. It's called keywordtool.io, where you can just type in uh, a seed keyword and it'll pop up with a bunch of suggestions for you. So as you can see here, I typed in SEO and I got over 707 unique keywords. Now, a lot of these are going to be uh, keywords I'm not going to use like SEO, Kang, Jun, Nguk, uh, SEO, Juan, SEO, Ha Jun, but now like SEO optimization, that's a good one. SEO tools, SEO marketing. Um, you know, I'm going to save these keywords. I'm going to use these for my campaign. Not only does uh, this keyword tool work really well, but Google also has a keyword planner in the tool section. Um, you'll just click keyword planner. It'll pop up here and uh, you can actually discover quite a bit, uh, quite a few keywords through using the keyword planner as well. Um, but anyways, I'll let you guys mess around with that. Find some keywords. Uh, I went ahead and prepared. I set up a few keywords here. I just grabbed a few off that list. Um, you'll do estimate search traffic. That way you can get an idea based on what your bid is as far as what kind of traffic you're going to have per day. Um, you can mess around with the, your default bid to get an idea of, uh, what, I guess what your traffic is going to look like if you raise your bid or if you lower your bid. So as you can see, if I put it at $20 a day or $10 a day, I'm going to get the same amount of traffic. So we'll just go ahead and keep it at $10 a day uh, for now. Uh, and then we'll do save ad group. Uh, once you have your ad group saved, now it's just going, uh, the campaign's pending because Google's has to approve your ad. Uh, once your ad's approved, it'll start displaying and that's pretty much it. I mean, you have your first ad up and running. Uh, if you want to go in and add your ad extensions, you can click here, click add extensions. Um, and then you can do new site link and you can create your link text, do the URL of the link text and any description. If you would like to put a description here. Um, other than that, uh, give me a thumbs up. If you guys liked this video, if it was helpful and, uh, you know, if I get enough, I'll make sure I keep creating more videos that, that kind of help you guys out when it comes to running ads on any ad platform. Uh, other than that, happy ad slinging. I wish you guys the best of luck and I hope you guys make a lot of money.